All right, all right. What's going on, everybody? God bless you. Hope y'all doing well on this beautiful, blessed Wednesday. As I give God all the honor, the glory, and the praise, and that I woke up on top of the ground, and I'm not under the ground. Let the church say amen. My title says, because everybody else is doing it. Because everybody else is doing it. And God gave me this as I was coming home. And I think about so much when I'm driving and, and when I'm by myself. And I thought about that wide gate in the book of Matthew, that road to destruction, and how it was filled with so many people thinking they're on their way to heaven. And they actually believe that they can get you in there because they think they're going to the right place, but they're going straight toward the road of destruction. And that's why I wanted to title this video because everybody else is doing it. You know, we're living in a time now where most people are going to do what somebody else is doing. And I guess that's going to be their excuse on Judgment Day when, when they got to an answer for all their wrongdoing. I asked this pastor the other week. He's one of these crooked pastors, and I won't reveal his name. But I asked him, why are you even in the pool, Peter, if you're going to continue to keep doing what you're doing and you know you're doing wrong? You know what he said? Because everybody else doing it. Those other preachers doing it, but not all preachers. He said, why can't I do the same thing? I need my money. So in other words, people are going to keep on telling lies instead of standing on the truth. Let me tell you something in this video. If you want to be very unpopular, tell the truth. Tell the truth and you'll be very unpopular. And ain't too many people going to want to be around you because you are speaking the truth. Because everybody else is doing it. I look around at how many people just say, forget about getting married. I might well keep sagging up. My homeboy been doing it for 10 years. He still with his old lady. So he doing it. Everybody else doing it. Are you going to let somebody else drag you into hell? Mm. Or are you going to make that change in your life? Or are you going to keep saying, everybody else doing it? Because everybody else is doing it. My homegirl just got pregnant. So I might well get pregnant too. She got a man, the older man taking care of her. So I'm going to find me a man to take care of me. I'm going to get pregnant, but I'm not going to get married. Ain't nobody being married no more because everybody else is doing it. So I might as well shack up. Is that going to be your excuse? People are becoming more and more like the devil every day. And they have no problem with what they are doing. They are not being convicted because somebody else is doing it. And the old saying, well, God know my heart, brother. God knows your heart. Okay, how long are you going to continue to say that? God created you. He been knowing your heart. He know the number of hurls that's numbered on your head. He know what you're going to do before you do it. So you are not shocking God with your wrongdoing. I wish we could get to the point where we would really start living this word of God. Everybody I know is shacking up, and that's their they, they excuse because, man, everybody else doing it. I asked this brother the other day. He was high. He was high. And once he came off his high, I said, did that take away your problems? He said, no. I said, you know why? Because you can get high as you want. Go to cloud 12. But when you come off of your high, you're going to still have them same problems. So I want to talk to you about spiritual high. So I had to come at them that way. Being high on the spirit. And if you high on the spirit, let the church say amen. You'll feel me in this video and why I am always the same because I don't let nobody take my joy away from me. I don't walk around with my head down low because of what goes on in my life. Everything don't go right. I'm used to that. That was a promise to us that we was going to have trials and tribulations. So what's going to be in my, why, why, why would I keep doing the same thing, I mean? I mean, well, my brother doing this or my sister doing this. So I might as well jump in that same category and do what they doing. They selling dope. Well, I might well sell dope too. JT, I'm tired of struggling. And this is what I hear on a daily basis. I'm tired of struggling. I'm tired of being broke. I'm tired of living paycheck to paycheck. I'm tired of this. I'm tired of that. Where well, you should be tired and you should get to the point where you just surrender and say, Lord, I'm tired of doing it my way. 
try God's way. Because let me tell you something, if you keep going backwards, you'll never get ahead. Why do you think the Bible said in Matthew 6 to seek ye first the kingdom of God and then all those other things? You have to seek the kingdom of God and all his righteousness and then all those other things will be added to you. So why you keep trying to get the other things and you're not seeking the kingdom first? You're living your life backwards. So with that being said, God bless you and God keep you. Everybody else doing it. They steal it, so I might as well steal. They rob it, so I might as well rob. Why not? Ain't nothing else going right. You got to answer for what you are doing. Be your own man. Be your own woman. Stop doing stuff because somebody else doing it. Stop trying to be a baller when you are a follower. So with that being said, God bless you and God keep you. Got to get out of here. See y'all when I see y'all when the Lord say the same. Peace.